Washington-based doctor is working on a groundbreaking procedure to clone a human. Dr. Panos Zavo says he's one step away from making a clone of another person. Our Dave Spencer takes a look at what this means for the future of medicine in today's top story. It may sound like science fiction. This is history in the making. But for the past six or seven years, cloning a human being has been a life ambition for Dr. Panos Zavos. That's what keeps me alive, is that I'm doing fascinating things. Dr. Zavo says he's doing this for a very specific purpose. For people that don't have eggs and sperm and they don't want to borrow their neighbor's sperm or eggs, we, I think that the, the, the cloning uh, modality is a viable issue and a viable choice for them. He calls the process reprogramming. What we do is that we take a cell from you, from the person that we want to create. We take the eggs from the woman. We remove the DNA and we pull the whole DNA molecule that we get from the man or the woman that we want to procreate. Saying it's quite similar to reproduction the natural way with a slight twist. Body cells, not sexual cells, the egg or the sperm. A process he's done already in 11 separate embryos. None, however, have produced the desired effect. The chapter that we want to write is to continue transferring until we get a pregnancy. But that's not to say he won't be able to describe what a finished product or success story would look like. This would be a lateral or a lateral-born twin. Critics, and there are more than a few, argue the potential for abuse is there. Dr. Zavo says any new technology can be abused, and this one is in need of strong regulation. But he says he'll just concentrate on the science end. I'm interested in treating infertility. That's it. No more, no less. In Lexington, Dave Spencer, WKYT 27 News First. Dr. Zavo says he's been extremely busy touring the globe and raising awareness on his research and recent breakthroughs.